Okay, welcome. This is a little bit more on the remainder theorem, and particularly solving for a missing k when you know what the remainder is. So my lovely student Anna sent me this bit of, of uh, mathematics. She, the question as stated is in that top left-hand corner. Um, so this piece right here. So she said, I need to find out what k is, and what's not stated in, from the question is the remainder has to be 3. So she does this okay, long division, so and she sets up this situation where she gets a 3 at the end, which is pretty smart. Um, that's exactly how this would work. That's one of the things that has to be true. So her division is perfect. Um, it's got lots of subtraction along the way, and I'm sure that you've got other videos to look at about how to do division. So there's her division. Notice that k came down at this point, this unknown. And then at the, right now she knows that k subtract negative 4 has to be 3. That's an equation. You can either do that by speculation or, <coughs> or this equation. And k is equal to negative 1, which she knew was correct. Yes. So she <laughs> wanted to know from me if there was even a better way. So here we've got uh, the polynomial divided. This is I'm reminding her here of the remainder theorem. The polynomial divided by x minus a is okay. equal okay. to, um, or, or means that we have a remainder uh, of when when this happens. We have a remainder of the f of what the answer or the result when we evaluate the polynomial at a or evaluated at A. So this is reminding us of our remainder theorem. So far we've used long division to solve, but if we continue here, when P is evaluated at 1, and so this would be the A value here is 1, because it's minusing A here, okay? So when P is evaluated at 1, we should get 3. So what does it mean when we evaluate P at 1? The, the polynomial gets 1 into all those X spots, okay? So we have 1 cubed, 4 times 1 squared, minus 1, and plus k is equal to 3. A little bit of algebra later, we have k is equal to negative 1. So that was the original question that Anna brought forward. She's working on the next slide on another question to see if she can uh, make some sense of that. So she's working on, if you've got this textbook, it's the McGraw-Hill Precalculus 12. We're on page 124, and I think her question might be 8b, but we'll see. Yes, it sure is. Okay, so the k is in a different spot now. <clears throat> She's decided to use the remainder theorem, and I can see why she had trouble trying to use long division here, because that k being in this position rather than the end position makes it a bit harder. So she says, okay, I've got the, the polynomial eva evaluated at a as the remainder. Nice, nice form here, by the way, Anna. So p at 2 is equal to 3. She th throws this in, she subs it in, 3 on this side, and she's just going to do some careful uh, evaluating at this point. That all looks good. Um, oh, and 2k went over here, and 3 popped over here, and 1 fell swoop, and she gets k equals 3. And is that the answer, Missy? Did you check that in the back? Yay! She says it is. Big check mark from me. Okay, so um, do you want to let me know if you need any more help, Anna? I'm just going to stop the recording because that's a good place to stop here.